Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Nikki, Elsa, and Sanji here. And I thought I'd show you how to make a little tarantula enclosure. We made this one. And I'll show you how I use everything. So first for this, well, this here. First for the substrate, I have this creature soil. And on the front, you can see, what is on the front, Elsa? A green bottle blue. Yeah, a green bottle blue. That's what, that's what, that's what Sanji's going to look like when he's all grown up. But I don't, actually, it doesn't really say, oh, it says this is peat moss, sand, soil, and carbon. Um, people use a, a whole mixture of things from peat moss to cocoa fiber to potting soil. Uh, this was just what I found at the at the store, and it was specifically for little creatures, so that's what I got. Um, so I put a layer of that in, and then I sprayed it, and I put another layer. But what I um, what I wanted to add was cork bark. You can see right here. There's a little tiny piece of cork bark. That is very important because it acts as an anchor point to, to Sanji's web but it does not mold or go bad like other kinds of wood. As you can see in Sanji's cage, we built this nice little enclosure for him the other day, but he just webbed the very top of it. And he um, stays on the side of, of, the, of the cup, and he doesn't want to come down. And so when I tried to feed him, it didn't really go well. He didn't eat it all. So he could be in pre-mold, but he could just be, um, it could just be not a good environment for him because he's supposed to be terrestrial. So uh, for this one, I made the soil less high. I just put a little bit in there because he doesn't like to, um, to burrow. And um, if he climbs to the side, it'll be a lot, uh, a lot harder for him to just stay up there, I think, in my opinion because there's not a whole lot to uh, make him comfortable. Now, um, I'm going to add him to his enclosure. Again, we take our little paintbrush. Oh, can you even see him? He's so tiny. Let's go zoom in a little. See if we can get a good picture. Yes, Elsa, what do you like to say as I'm, as I'm transferring Sanji? Elsa's gonna give you a little soliloquy. What would you like to talk about, Elsa? You need to give your baby spiders tiny fragrance because you don't want his spiders to be a ginormous. Oh, God. So, you could use a tiny cricket for your spiders to eat. But once your, your kids have a pet butterfly and they don't want to give it to your spider, you should not give it to your spider. So I'm having a butterfly on my birthday. I don't want to give it to my pet spider. And for there we go. He kind of fought me there. I don't know if you saw, but he he threw up a little. Um, well, what he did um, was he kicked some hairs. Little spiders like this have an ability. They have little hairs on their little abdomens called urticating hairs. I think they're called setae, actually, I the Latin see. name. Spider. He's on the see. And they, those hairs are like little barbs, and they can shoot them out if they kick. They rub their back legs on their butt, and it kicks the hairs out. And it's a defense me me mechanism against predators. So we can see Sanji exploring his little enclosure. He's probably not. The happiest tarantula alive. It's probably pretty sad. All these little, um, all these little cage changes and stuff probably are not making him the happiest. Hopefully, we can get a nice feeding video. All right, Elsa. Do you want to say anything else? So you can give your spider a nice, beautiful cage for your spider mm -hmm. and like it and let it enjoy it and explore what's inside of it and also 
let them web for a little while and then when they're done you could give them you could give them some cord bark. But careful not to break their web because they really don't want their web to be destroyed by people. So yesterday we wanted to get a cricket out of Sandy's cage and then we 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 didn't disturb his cage and make him angry. But I'm pretty think that that we a little bit broke his web. Yeah, we had to break his web in order to give him his cricket or to take his cricket back and he didn't even eat it. So maybe he will make his home on the cork bark. We're hoping. Anyway, thank you for watching.